just poured our lunch today and I didn't tell John, but one of the dishes is tongue. So let's see how it goes. Hi, I'm Jay. And I'm John. And we're Bucket List Travellers. And today we're going to be trying out two Nicaraguan lunch dishes. So we've got here uh, a creamy jalapeno and I think it's parmesan steak with some plantains, rice and some accompaniments. And then we've also got here some tongue. Oh. Yeah. What? I thought it looked interesting. Yes. So. Are you giving it to me? <laughs> so tongue is a. Um, it's apparently popular around Christmas time, so it's a bit after Christmas now. It comes in a tomato sauce, so it's going to be interesting. So... Why don't you try it out first? <laughs> Let's see how we go. <laughs> um... <laughs> okay, so do you want to try the tongue first? I'm a bit less excited about this taste test now. <laughs> So, let's be clear, Jay didn't tell me what exactly we were eating. I just assumed there were two different beef dishes. One was one was creamy, one wasn't creamy. Yeah, so when I came back, I didn't I didn't realize that it was going to be tongue until like there was a buffet style um, amount of options that you could choose from. And when I asked what this was, they said tongue and I thought, "Oh, okay, let's Let's give it a go. And then when we were dishing it out onto these plates, uh, John was asking, oh, are they the same types of meat? And yeah, I didn't, I didn't let on exactly what it was. So yeah, we've never had tongue before. So this is going to be interesting. Uh, okay, all right, fine. Oh, jeez. Did we, oh, it's, uh, oh, it's got like a mushy consistency. You have your knife's upside down. It's not as hard as I thought it would be. Okay, do you want to show it to the... That's what it looks like. Whoa. Yeah. We had liver in France and they asked us in French how, like, what, what sort of, um, how, how well done we wanted it and we said medium rare and that was a bad mistake. So I ended up having to, I don't think we ended up finishing it, but I ate most of it and John tapped out. So I hope, I hope it's going, it smells kind of like Spam. Yeah, to me it smells like dog food. <laughs> it does. Uh, yeah, or spam. Let's say spam. Spam. So keep open minded. It's got lots of nice vegetables around it. You've got nice, um, what is it? Grape? Grammar. Grammar. Um, so I don't know what is in grammar, but we are addicted to it. So please let us know in the comments what the hell we're drinking. It's, oh, it's really so good. good. It's very addictive. Yum, 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 yum. Love it. Um, so I can wash, wash whatever this tastes like down. Oh, I. Oh, jeez. So I think it's cow tongue. Uh, it's it's quite big. It's it's bigger than my tongue. It looks like a tongue. It's definitely a tongue. Yeah. You can actually you can kind of Not see. Not a human tongue. You can see the ridges on it. Yeah. Anyway, probably probably shouldn't talk about it too much. Do it. <laughs> You're licking it and it's licking you back. <laughs> I'm licking it. Cow's tongue. God. Uh, uh, okay. Just put it in. Okay. Alright. So it's not that bad. It's not that bad. So it wasn't as mushy as I thought it would be. So there's a bit of texture to it. Yeah, it, it just tastes like a form of meat. So it's not, the concept of it is worse than actually tasting it. Yeah. And I've had, I've had, I 
have had tongue before. I've had had it in Korean barbecues. And oh, have we? Yeah, we have. Mm. And it's and it's been fine. I, I guess just knowing that it's tongue. It's just enormous. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay, get into it. Right. I'm just balancing it out with a bit of a mashed potato. Mashed potatoes. Okay. So, what we do as a habit is we eat half our meal and then we always swap because that's what couples like us do. So, all we need to do is get through half of this tongue. So, I can do it. Well, it's a new year, so maybe. Maybe we can do something different this year. Mm-mm. It's alright. It's alright. I can I can tolerate it. I reckon I can get through half. You better. I will. Yeah, so it's like the texture of it's like pulled pork. The texture. Okay, that sounds alright yeah. then. So like if you if you were to pull it apart, it would look like a pulled pork or pulled beef or whatever yeah like it smells I like the smell of it hmm. maybe I was a bit harsh it doesn't really t- taste like dog food I was probably over dramatizing it a bit okay I can do this that's, that's good that's good you like tomatoes it's in a tomato sauce. And I like meat. Okay, now it's Jay's turn to have a go. Okay, here goes. I'm going for the tip. Yeah, I guess it's an it's an interesting tip. Like if if you didn't see it as a whole tongue, I don't think it's too off putting. Um, I guess I'll try it on its own. Oh, that's good. You can have more of it. It does have a bit of a... bit of a texture to it. Mm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm wishing I hadn't taken such a big bite. It's not too bad. It's, it's just the thought that you're eating tongue. I think if I didn't know, I, I would, I'd be quite happy with this dish. It comes with rice, it comes with a bit of salad, um, it comes with this nice tomato sauce. Oh, the sauce is good and then you've got some Majuros which are the, um, the mature bananas. Yeah, I love Maduro. Yeah. Okay. It's good when you mix it in with the um, the rice and the other stuff. I think because it's got a bit of a springy texture, do you think? So that that takes a bit of getting used to and just if you can get out of your head and out of the fact that you're eating a tongue, it's not too bad. That's that's what you need to get your head around. But I do like the thought of using all the animals. So the other dish we have here is a beef dish and it's a creamy jalapeno, maybe parmesan dish, which looks really nice Yeah, actually. I'm looking forward to getting into that one. I think it's nice having the contrast of having a creamy dish and a tomato based dish. Get some, I think this is like a creamy potato. That's good. Hmm. Yeah, so all in all, I think this is a pretty good meal. And so for this lunch special, which is only on Sundays, it's 80 Cordobas um, per dish, and that comes with the drink as well. Oh, so, is the drink included? Yeah, so it's oh, really good value. That's pretty cool. It's very popular. So there was already a bit of a lineup when I got there. Um, yeah, but pretty good. Highly recommend it. Um, and this was from Chinita. Fritanga de Chinitas. Fritanga de Chinitas in Granada, Nicaragua. Yeah. 
So check it out if you're in the area. One of our favourite uh, little restaurants here. Yeah. And it's on Calle Libertad. Okay, so let's let's just keep eating. Well, we polished that off nicely. All down the hatch. Well, I can say that I've accomplished something new today, something a little bit unexpected. Yeah, it was it was actually not too bad and it's something that I've been interested in trying for a while um, ever since we heard about it from a Nicaraguan friend of ours. It's good that we've been able to experience one of the really local foods. Yeah, would you do it again? Uh, probably, I'm not in a rush to do it again, um, but it was, it was not as bad as I thought it would be. Yeah, I'm not in a rush to do it, but if it was presented to me I'd eat it easily. Yeah, and I think like if you chop it up and kind of mix it in other stuff, I guess it's more when you get a big piece and it's really spongy. So it's just got a bit of a bounce to it, which is a bit unfamiliar. But apart from that, it, it tastes nice. Yeah, it does. Yeah. It's just the, it's just the, the visual of the tongue that yeah, the really visual, perks you out. The visual is not so good and I guess also when you've got one person that's kind of freaking out and it, it gets a bit contagious. Yeah, overall it's, it, we think it's a really good thing to experience everything that a country has to offer, including the cuisine. So don't be afraid to step outside of your comfort zone. So we are Bucket List Travellers. See you next time. See you next time.